A pregnant woman was told the baby girl she was carrying would likely die, but she defied the odds, and that woman is now spending Christmas with the best gift of all, a healthy and happy daughter. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Jonathan Cooper. And I'm Tatum Gwynn. She says that she is forever grateful that she decided to get a second opinion. News on 6's Ashlyn Brothers has her story. Casey Chitwood came to Hillcrest hoping doctors could save her baby's life. What she didn't realize is they would end up saving hers too. <laughs> the Chitwoods were thrilled to find out they were pregnant with their second child. But Casey Chitwood didn't expect she'd face a lifetime of trials in the next two years. At her 20-week ultrasound, we found out that she had a slew of anomalies such as diaphragmatic hernia and missing vertebrae and a cleft lip. Casey started having extreme fatigue, bruising, and vision issues during her third trimester. Basically said it was probably the stress of carrying a baby who was going to be born to die. Casey decided to look at other treatment options, found the Silas program through Hillcrest and hired a doula. She says the night she was admitted, she got news she never expected, not about her baby, but about herself. Friday, they did a bone marrow biopsy. Monday, the oncologist came in to tell me that I had acute leukemia. I think we're able to provide a very unique, multidisciplinary approach at Hillcrest that doesn't exist everywhere, and I was really proud of all the teams involved. Doctors told Casey she could have been days away from dying without the diagnosis, but they also gave her some good news. Her baby was making progress. She took a week of chemo with me before she's born. Arden was born on June 14th. She fights for me and I fight for her. Arden has had five surgeries and will need more, but she remains spunky and spirited. Casey is on her fourth round of chemo with one more round to go. I didn't think of a first Christmas. I was just thinking having to put her in a casket. I'm thankful for her and I'm, I'm thankful to be here. She takes it day by day and has learned to be grateful and give herself time to grieve. It's okay to be sad, but it's not okay to give up. Ashlyn Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.